we have here a, a virtual archery, and I want to emphasize the virtual because it appears as if the target is on one of our students. And so you have a, a peculiar looking purple and green bow, and, but, and, and show me how it operates. Tell me about how it operates. Sure. Uh, so we've got a bow uh, with a target at a fixed uh, distance and fixed height, as portrayed by Mike. He's representing okay. the target. And we have an accelerometer that tells us the actual tilt of the bow. Okay. So using basic physics, we can figure out, based on an average arrow speed and the distance and the height we picked, where the arrow would actually land on the target if there was a real arrow. Gotcha. And then the stretch sensor tells us when the bow has actually been drawn and when the bow has been released. And where is the stretch sensor? Right here. This is the stretch sensor Okay. Right so you can draw that by pulling that back then? Exactly, yeah. Okay. And what are the LEDs along the, the shaft there? So these LEDs right here represent our actual arrow. Aha, uh -huh, so, so that's going to, that, okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yes. So, so, and then there's some directions down on the television. Yeah, so it's like directions for the archery game. So you push the button to actually knock the arrow. Uh, so that's the primary. Pull the string to draw the arrow back, you take aim. You release it to release the arrow and you get three rounds per actual set of game. Okay, let's see it score. run. So we push the button, starts the game. All right, I'm gonna aim at Mike. I'm gonna take my string, I'm gonna pull back. Arrow lights up, I'm gonna let go. Arrow hits. So that's where the arrow would have landed if so, there was an actual arrow. So there's a little X near the bullseye there because you're shooting very well. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see another round here. Go again here. Shoot a little bit worse this time. Alright, shoot a little bit worse. Wasn't quite bullseye, and okay. a little too high. Alright, so point to it. Point to it so there. Right oh, here yes. is the second there's one. A, there's the second X. Right. Yeah. And we'll go one more. We'll really, really miss this time here. So you're way off level. I'm a little off. I'm like right at the edge right now. I see. Clear out at the edge. Right there at the edge. Cool. So then it says press button to see the score, so now we uh -huh. get scored. Right? Okay. One point for the outer ring. Three points for the next one, five points for second innermost, and then eight points for bullseye. Okay. So now we've got about nine points. About nine. Points. Out of 24 total for a perfect score. Cool. So you got it all running. You got it all running. Press again, restarts the game. You good for another one? Yes. Okay. Assuming the target's still alive. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right, to bullseye. Another bullseye. <laughs> And I don't so, like my chances here. It's three bullseye. And and when you're aiming, is it dead reckoning? You're trying to hold it level. You're sighting down where the arrow is. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. So I have to lift it just slightly up. If I aim straight, the arrow would actually go a bit downward, right? Because uh -huh. of the gravity, the simulated gravity. So I'm aiming just a little bit upward to try to get that bullseye. So you're sighting along the okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then in that case, 21. I missed one bullseye. Aimed a little bit too high. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then, Very cool. Yeah. And uh, and so the, the stretch uh, the stretch sensor became reliable. I know you broke a couple. Yeah. So <laughs> I had alligator clips on them before. Yeah. So then, as you kept repeatedly drawing it back during testing, it ended up snapping. So now, until we just uh, wrap copper wire and attach it indirectly, and just actually soldered it to our resistor and the copper wire over here that's covered by electrical tape. Mm -hmm. So that way there isn't as much downward force on the actual stretch sensor. I see. The interesting thing about this is that it actually, you know, there's a resistance spike whenever you pull it and release it, mm -hmm. which is what we actually ended up using to determine when it was being pulled back and released. So it's so, an interesting little property that wasn't expected. Right, so a nonlinear property, really. Yeah, it's, right, a, right. it's, a, it's yeah. a nonlinear property. From the material. And this is the accelerometer I see strapped on here. Right here, yep. And, and and that's the driver. This is the driver for the LEDs. Exactly. Okay, so I'm going to get up really close while you pull it back again. Absolutely. So, so we're going to pull. The light up, indicating there's an arrow. We release. Arrow's been released. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you.